I'm customizing my Corvette and one thing I'm doing is I'm taking off all the emblems and I'm blacking them out. There is my blacked out Corvette emblem and uh, that's step one. Step two is to repaint in the checkered flag and repaint in the flag itself green. This is the prototype, the one that I did first because it has the broken flag pole. Uh, it's not quite finished yet and once it is finished it's going to be clear coated and then put on. Now what worries me is uh, this one which I've started uh, goes for quite a lot of money. You don't see the 25th anniversary Corvette logos too often and admittedly it looks kinda bad right now but once the checkered flags in and once uh, the remnants of the red has been painted in green again I think it's gonna look pretty special actually. Alright there internet, uh, it's been some time, I'm pretty much done. Uh, blacked out my Corvette logos, painted in the whites, the checkered flag again, and repainted the red flag green. Each one of these pieces is a little individual. This one has a broken flagpole down there. This one I left the Chevy logo inside black. This one is uh, for the trunk and it's a little flatter, and then you got this one, the main big chunky piece for the front hood. I think that they look really good. I think I'm going to have the only Corvette in the world that's going to look like this now. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of people who are very upset that I would do this to such a classic, but really? I mean, it's just a Corvette, right? And uh, I think it's going to look really good. I can't wait to put them on and see how it looks with a new paint job all finished up.